Well, folks, you're not privy to what happens behind the scenes here at Daily Wire, but producer Jessica was gone for a while, and now she's back, and she's brought with her a whole bevy of new woke TikToks. I'm going to dread going through these, but perhaps you will enjoy it. Somebody had to do it. I am the chosen one. It's not okay to be yourself. If yourself is this, stop being it. Stop it. No one likes yourself. Not in public. No, it's not okay to be yourself in public. Stop it. I hope a shark eats this person. That'd be a great end to that video. It's just a shark coming up and eating that person. I think it's time we celebrate, we uplift, and we reward the unlicensed adults among us. Joe Biden's illegal aliens! Not having a driver's license is climate change activism. Me asking my friend to give me a ride somewhere is creating community. I'm bringing back the global village. I'm what about your friend? Human. Doesn't your friend have a driver's license? People aren't looking humans in the eyes anymore. You want me to drive a car for what? I, I shouldn't God. look in the eyes while I'm driving. That's dangerous. I feel brave if I'm being completely honest. Like not so having brave. a driver's license is one of the bravest things a person could do. So, one of the bravest. And we need to really acknowledge that. We one of the to bravest. Check in with ourselves and be honest about this. So honest, so brave. We need support. You need support for not being able to drive from presumably people who can drive who went and got a driver's license. Oh my God. Um, first of all, I just can't believe this person has friends who would drive him anywhere. What a leech. Let me in. Let me in. Seriously. And then, but he's pretty brave. He's brave. You know, when people declare themselves brave, very good indicator they're not brave. Just like when they declare themselves intelligent, it's a pretty good indicator they're morons. This is a day in the life of having a female president. I wake up as early as possible, and in honor of our new president, I slap on my coconut bra. Then I go out to my garage, put a piece of glass on the ceiling, and smash it with a hammer. Oh! Just to remind myself how great things are. I text my nieces and tell them not to worry that a bunch of creepy Republican men aren't keeping a chart of their menstrual cycle. Our Pikachus are protected again. You were gonna say vagina. Yeah. I then go to my book club where we're reading every book banned by Florida. That is not funny. And it is not true. Because I no longer have to worry about my rights being taken away, I decide to take Doug on a quick trip to outer space so he can go for a walk on the moon. And don't worry, we get there safely because Elon Musk didn't make our spaceship. Go yourself. Is that clear? Did you notice anything about, like, why a female president would be better? Or it's just the... Pikachu? Presumably that does it. Also, nobody needed to see Chelsea Handler in a coconut bra. That's awful. It's like world's worst Hawaiian. I don't even know what those things are called, those dances. We'll get to more on this in a moment. First, folks, let me paint you a picture. Using the internet without ExpressVPN, it's like leaving your keys in the car while you run to the gas station to grab a snack. Sure, most of the time it's probably fine, but then you come out one time and there's a hooligan peeling off in your vehicle, leaving giant skid marks in the road. Sounds great, right? Well, that's essentially what you're doing every time you connect to an unencrypted network at your local coffee shop, airport, even the fancy hotel you splurged on. You're basically inviting every hacker on that network to rifle through your digital glove compartment. Passwords, financial details, your entire online identity, it's all up for grabs. Here's the kicker. It doesn't take much technical knowledge to hack somebody. A smart 12-year-old could do it. Why? Because your data is valuable. These cyber thieves can make up to $1,000 per person selling your information on the dark web. That's why I use ExpressVPN. If you value your online liberty, you should as well. It's like an impenetrable force field for your data. ExpressVPN creates an encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet, so secure it would take a hacker with a supercomputer over a billion years to crack it. Billions and billions and billions and billions. It's incredibly simple to use. You just open up the app, you click one button, and voila, you are now protected. It works on all your devices too. Phones, laptops, tablets. Whether you're tweeting from the couch or checking your email at Starbucks, you are covered. Secure your online data today by visiting expressvpn.com slash benyt or scan the QR code below. That's expressvpn.com slash benyt to get three extra months for free. Expressvpn.com slash benyt right now to learn more. I'm dumb and I'm actually, I'm actually not dumb. Pretty I'm actually dumb. very intelligent. I don't, you don't have to be like smart in everything. I'm smart in my, in my ways. And you want to say I'm dumb for saying that, but. Okay, like, tell me an interesting fact. Um, do you know why a gas light comes on in a car? Okay. Sure, go ahead. Tell me. It's because, um, it's a lie. 
if your car is giving you a gas light and it's telling you, hey, we're about to run out of gas, and you're still driving and you hit zero miles, that bitch ain't gonna stop on you. So it's really just a form of manipulation. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. What? True. Tell me you're It's true. Right? No, it's dead ass because it's happened to me. It's gonna literally like turn off on you. But who knows when? That's why it's called a gaslight. Uh, we will never know. It's a lie. No, 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 you know what comes on? To tell you to put gas in the car yes. soon. What the is happening right now? Don't worry, guys. She's not dumb. I love that she's taking the word gaslighting and she thinks that that refers to the light in your car when you're low on fuel. And she's calling that a gaslight. Gaslighting comes from a movie called Gaslight, starring Ingrid Bergman and Charles Boyer. The entire movie is about how a young woman gets married and her husband is attempting to drive her crazy. And so each night he turns down the light, which is powered by gas. It is a gas light. And he lowers the light and then tells her it has not been lowered in order to drive her crazy. That's where the word gaslighting comes from. It does not come from the fuel light in your car. How low are you going to go? You get used to it. Just put it out of your mind. <laughs> you know why this happens? I mean, besides the fact that people are f***ing morons. The, the reason this happens is because everybody who is under the age of like 40 in this country believes that the world began spinning when they were born. So there can't be a reference to something older than they are. Am I the only one whose narcissistic parent would show up to every single event I was ever involved in? <gasps> I am so sorry. This is one of those weird ones where I always felt like speaking about this behavior negatively could be perceived in the wrong way. Yes. Like my parent was just being supportive. Yes. And how lucky was I to have a parent who always showed up? Yes. Who your parent was there for you. Yes. 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 What makes this lean more towards the negative, in my opinion, in terms of behavior, is that if I ever didn't want them to show up to every single showing of something, that was considered to be disrespectful. It's a pattern of controlling behavior, I think, for narcissistic parents that prevented me from practicing independence and developing relationships outside of my immediate family. Well, good thing she's now free and wears her hair like that, her hat like that, and an oversized Nirvana sweatshirt. Clearly, she's made a bunch of amazing life decisions ever since getting out from under the thumb of her evil, manipulative parents. I want to buy an entire fleet of rockets from Elon Musk's SpaceX just to fire people into the sun. So this is Chelsea Handler getting fired into the sun. Boom, just incredible. I got Dax a surprise. It's Boba. I can't wait to see her reaction. She does not know about it yet. Dax, you know how I mentioned a surprise earlier? Well, I actually have it for you right now. I'm in the passenger seat because I don't want you driving off. Are you ready to come out? Oh, oh my god. How long is this? Can we go back to the draft? You little scumbag! Like mandatory army service. Like, um, the draft. So I just got yelled at for asking a very reasonable question. So I'm applying to go somewhere and I just wanted to know, are there accommodations for people who struggle with time blindness and being on time? And then when we were done, they actually started yelling at me and saying that accommodations for time blindness doesn't exist. And if you struggle with being on time, you'll never be able to get a job. And then they're like, your stupid generation wants to destroy the workplace. And yeah, I think that a culture where workers are just cut off because they struggle with being on time. Yeah, that culture needs to be dismantled. Being late to others is rude. Not showing up on time to work is stealing money. Why is everyone stupid? Why? I don't understand. Why is it that you impose on all of the earth, but all of the earth is imposing on you? I mean, I understand it. I do. It's all this emotivist bull crap. I'm upset. Louder! I'm upset. Louder! I'm upset! Your true authenticity lies in what you feel at this very instant. And any imposition on that authenticity is somehow the world's fault. So things like clocks are an imposition on you. I'm sorry to break it to you, but all... 
being on time it means is moving with the rhythms of the day along with the rest of humanity. And you're very lucky to be living in a time where people can be more flexible with time than they used to be. If you go to primitive places on Earth, there's no flexibility with time. You know why? Because the sun rises and then the sun sets and there ain't another light after that. Can you see? Not too good. But everyone expecting you to be on time is somehow an imposition on you? So, what, what narcissistic bullshit? Unbelievable. Well, Jessica really brought the goods this time. We'll have to see which one of our producers decides to torture me again next time. But I gotta say, if this is the future of America, we are in serious, serious trouble. I also now see how Kamala Harris has like 45% of the vote. You think you did?